Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and those who are neither wherever you are in the world. I'm Ramblin' Rusty Elm, and you're watching Ramblin' with Rusty, Starfield Edition. Last time on Rambling with Rusty, we went over to Hopetown on Polvo. On the way, we had to stop and deal with some pirates, took them out, got back to Polvo, and had a conversation with Mr. Ron Hope, which has given us a lead to come to Neon on the planet of Voli. So, without further ado, here we join the action in progress. Nothing in the settled systems quite like Neon. Crazy, terrible, but never dull Neon. There should be a sign, dump your Aurora here. You'd make a fortune if you put a net right under here, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Don't move, Nesha! What the hell is this about? Cut the act. Not gonna get involved in that one. Uh, okay. The coochie's here a lot of go. fun. I even bring Cora here every now and then. The coochie. Huh. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just. Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? And you must be Ranger Price. You were expecting some. Not else? exactly, but I get a lot of unwanted visitors. Kind of comes with the territory here. <laughs> the one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. Well, I'm sure the people of Neon want to uphold the law. Not. <laughs> so you think I no, should just give up? I think you should be careful. Alrighty, well. Uh. I'm sure. The yeah, people, about uh, that. The law. This Not isn't the Kiowa City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Neon's a tough, tough assignment. The ecosystem is rigged against any real law enforcement. Yeah, well. So who runs that? That would be Benjamin Bayou. He's out to squeeze every credit he can from the people of this city. He doesn't much care who gets hurt in the process. He's well, also got a seat on the Council of Governors, which proves that if you've got enough credits, you can buy anything you want. Oh, that's a new piece of information. Hmm. Good. That's a smart play. As much as it rankles. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cost credits, Nothing in neon is free. Well, that's, you know, normal. Mm. Hey, you 
get a lot of unwanted visitors. Of course. Neon's full of desperate people who have nowhere else to turn. For some, it's the drugs. For others, it's gambling. There are a lot of ways to lose everything in this city. My rule is simple. If someone brought it on themselves, then I don't get involved. Well... You know, people do need to learn from their mistakes, and, uh, yeah, Rangers aren't here to be a charity case. I never thought that. But we are supposed to help people who are in trouble. Rangers are supposed to exercise good judgment. I'm one person here. I can't help everybody. The best I can do is try to protect the ones who are innocent. And believe me, it's a full-time job. Yeah, I, I believe that one. Yeah. Stay out of people's business until you can't. Be willing to let the small stuff slide. Don't break up a fight unless it's getting out of hand. Most of all, don't assume that badge will protect you. Yeah, that's good, that's good advice anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Well, are you sure this, this is me? Um, there are no guarantees, and who I find trustworthy changes on a daily basis. <laughs> talk to him or don't. It's your call. Let's go Come talk on. to Billy. That was pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. You learned quickly that in Neon, staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the Marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, they'd be gun... Looking out for you. You understand that, don't you? That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Nice. Keep that in mind, and you'll Make fit right in. I hate how slow these guys walk. Where the hell's he going? I thought we were going to go talk to Billy. second what oh it's you give me a good scare i thought you were one of goodman's people sure <laughs> far from well, it. We find our new deputy Billy. here is working a case and i that thought you might be able to, to help say. take it away rookie yeah okay let's what do you need For a thief skilled enough to steal right out of the factory, the factory. <laughs> damn, that's pretty impressive. Well, here's the thing Neon's got no end of shipjackers, I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other, you know what I mean? I can see where this is going. Credits ain't really what I need. There's something you could do for me. 
Spilling credits is always better than spilling blood. I can help you, but right now my life is in danger and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Yeah, that's part of the job, yeah. Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. This Emmett Goodman sounds like a real class act. <sighs> yeah. He's bad even by neon standards. <laughs> That's saying something. Yeah. Uh, I'll talk to this loan shark, but yeah. Yeah, I'll I go swear it on my best set of witches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Epside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. Well, unfortunately for them, they are stupid enough to tangle with me. I guess it's time to go dance with them. Anywhere else, the fish processing plant would be no big deal. So that's Bayou's River of Gold. My sister was able to snag a job at Ryujin Zawa. She said she's gonna put in... What I don't sell ends up in troll. Can you believe Xenofresh charges for experience. Euphorica? We have everything you want yeah. out of Neon. That would be right. Okay. Yeah. Right now. You have a dispute like you're looking for something? Yeah. Well, I Citizen. Better we get it than someone else. It's such an important day for them. Really? Okay, let's talk to the guard. This is private property. You better keep walking. This is private property. Do you yeah. now? You don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. Look, I'd like to help, but... Let's see... Not happening. Uh, maybe you've got hearing problems. I don't know. I said you ain't getting in here, and I meant it. Now get lost! Well... As long as you behave yourself and don't overstay your welcome, I don't see the harm in a quick visit. Here, yeah, this will get you in. Yeah, okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here. We made it in. I had to pay a thousand credits at the door for the key, but I suppose it's probably worth it. Let's talk to Well, this now, guy. look here. Well, doesn't he look like a snake? Emmett well, Goodman. now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? A little light on credits, are you? Oh, it's just a modest enterprise, really. You could call me an importer, an exporter. Inherited the trade from my daddy. But I'm sure you ain't here about my business. 
Oh, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf, but I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. Yeah. I can't tell if he's kidding or not. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. Thing. Cal agreed to my terms, including collection from family on the event of his passing. It ain't my fault he dragged Billy into it. But make no mistake, that's exactly what he did. What's your stake in this anyway? Well... Yeah, the idea of putting some fear in scumbag like you sounded fun. But really. But you're your making it my business. I have a legal right to collect what's owed to me. No law is being broken here. Then offer me something I want, and I'll consider it. Let's just calm down now. I know all about that. Uh... No, nope, it's not that simple. Oh, really? You come walking in here drunk. Maybe it's time I show you how we resolve disagreements here in Neon. Hey. Say your prayers, pal. Don't let them die for nothing! No. Ah! <laughs> 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 Frank Rennix all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station. <laughs> Perfect ass security. All right. We done looted the syndicate's lair. Oh, we are back here to see them at least talk to our now? friend. They hit the bars, Billy? buy a lot of drinks, and talk up how great they know? are, how their unit almost won the war single handed. Did you talk to Goodman? Okay, sure. Got no reason not to trust you. I'm sure the deputy has a reason for withholding that information. Sometimes, in our line of work, it's better not to know all of the details. 
I hate to admit it, but he's right. Neon is its own special animal. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit, and she's been throwing money around, so it must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Okay, so, Madame Sauvage's, here we come. far away. Enjoy some unique company. Look, I ain't gonna stand around here all day, right? You want the stuff or not? I the striker's up there, so we better be on a freestar ranger and his what? what are you? A sidekick or something? Something Now that's like what that. I call yeah. real conviction. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Uh, uh, well, I just need a little information. It could help oh, lives. Ain't you polite. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? Mm. Uh, see, I know you stole the ship, but people might be in the ship. <laughs> mm. I know you stole the ship, but people might be in danger and I need your help. All right. So I jacked the ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men, and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? Mm. You provided the means for mercenaries to intimidate and threaten an innocent person. Look, they didn't tell me what they were going to do. How was I supposed to know they were going to go after some farmer? You should have asked when you took the contract. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. Yeah. Uh, there's still time to make things right. Please. Help. I do want to make things right. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. I haven't heard from her since. No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Uh, anybody tell you how to contact him? No. Nothing at all. <laughs> Left me feeling a little disappointed, given how well they paid me. No, yeah, that's kind of understandable. Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. 
Marco gave Not so much as a hint. Yeah, I'll tell you. So. He's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Bankrolling the first must take a lot of money. Sure, he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. Yeah. Well, that's all I need to know for now. I appreciate your cooperation. Yeah, sure. Next time you're at The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm going to head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. You are free. Thanks for your help. Yeah. <laughs> You're free. Thanks oh. For your help. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. Yeah, well, you know. Mr. Hope didn't report the theft, so I see. No reason to haul you in. That's Madame Sauvages. There it is. Place. So it looks like our next step is Aquila City. Yeah. Got you down. That yep. Good old Aquila City. One thing I'll say is it's better than the UC. <laughs> I have to agree with him there. Now that we're back in the Aquila City. The hut up at the front. We'll stop up at the rock, turn in the slate, and... Don't you worry, the walls are solid. I think that'll be it for the episode. There's been a lot of dialogue in this one. Feel for the folk in the stretch. I try and give a credit or two to the local. Here's our man. Hey, Alex. I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon. I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Yeah. What's stopping you? Oh, I can't fly anywhere. Issues with my eustachian tubes. Being in a pressurized environment is like someone taking a laser cutter to the sides of my head. It's not great, but at least I can pretend to visit the party capital of the galaxy by having you tell me about it. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't really care for it. What? You serious? Well, that's a first. Well, I guess not everyone likes to have a good time. Speaking of which... On to business. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Ranger Price says you can crack this encrypted slate. Or well, I need your help with the encryption on it. Well, you know, Ranger Did Price he now? Well, in that case, challenge accepted. It's only a matter of time before I know every dirty little secret stored in this thing. Yeah. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, have fun. Oh, I that. will. I guarantee it. <laughs> okay, so is we need to go talk to Marshall Blake. So let's go ahead and do that while we're here. I need a word. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? <laughs> well, we could lie about Ranger Price's help, but, uh, uh, I was able to track Glad him. you got a chance yes. to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. Mm. Uh, yeah. Good. Stay focused on the task at hand and don't take your eye off the target. 
That's how a ranger should think. What did you learn from the starship thief? Uh, Squirt. Yep. Let's see. Uh. Now we're getting somewhere. I don't know. Sounds like you've got up, a couple of new leads uh, to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. Well, let's see. Like what? Information. Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank Your you. priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't going to get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, Deputy. This is all truth. All right. Well. That's going to be the episode for today. Leveled up. I'll spend that skill point before the next episode. And we'll head out uh, probably off towards the clinic to meet up with Maya. I'm Ramblin' Rusty Elm. Have a good night. And remember, stop and smell the roses.